passports. And the train has no air conditioning. And the train air conditioning broke. About an hour ago. It's hot. Very, very hot. Press the green button. Yeah. What did I just do? No, just it periodically shuts. It Even if I'm shuts. in the middle of it? That's scary. Drew, tell me what we forgot to buy. We didn't forget to buy anything. Or forget to bring. We didn't forget to bring anything. <laughs> tell me what we forgot to smuggle from... We didn't forget anything. What no, one, no one could have predicted that it'd be 150 degrees. You mean 49,000 degrees? 49,000 degrees Celsius. <laughs> it's <laughs> stupid train. Tell me what you really want right now. Tell me what you want. What you really, really want? I want, I want water. <laughs> do you want? Do you want carbonated water? I would take anything. <laughs> I really will trade this guy. I'm going to ask him if he wants to trade. Um, do you uh, trade for wine? Do you have a bottle of wine? We like Uzo. What just happened now, Drew? Fail. <laughs> I tried. I tried uh, buying from him multiple times a drink, but he doesn't want to break a 50 euro. So on the 16 hour train ride where it's 150 degrees, he's not going to sell me a drink because he doesn't want to break a 50 euro. So I and offered to trade him wine. A bottle of wine that the Intercontinental gave us. He said, "Well, okay. But he says he only takes money. Huh? That's weird. A lot of the people we meet while traveling are really nice. Like nice enough to lend us this. We drove our new friend's BMW around the countryside pretty much all day. but he told us we had to get back to the city by 5.30. As it turns out, it was St. Stephen's Day, and Budapest was celebrating with the longest fireworks show I've ever seen. Through the snow and steaming 